Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you what's outside the map in Signal Simulator. So here we are in a new save, it doesn't have to be a new save, you can do this with uh, any save, but I chose to do it with a new save, simply because I wanted to make the video and I didn't want to wait for it to become daytime in my game, so yeah, let's um, first we're going to hop in the golf cart here, and we're just going to drive, and we're going to drive away from the building in any direction really. Um, I'm just going to be heading straight out here in this direction, although actually, I should, I should head in the direction of that alien UFO thing that has Blago's face on it, but I don't know, I guess you can do that for yourself, or maybe we'll explore it in this video, I'm not sure. But yeah, you just want to start driving out, um, oh boy, oh goodness, oh wow. <laughs> This golf cart goes like 90, I think it goes 90 miles an hour on its top speed, unless that's kilometers an hour, in which case it's still, it's not that fast, it's closer to 70. Oh my gosh, I got stuck again, okay. So you'll notice that if you start venturing out too far, you get greeted with this here fence. And this is a pretty sturdy fence, you can't crash through it. So here we are at the fence, um, there's not much to say about it, anyway, we're going to get back in our golf cart here, and we're going to uh, exit to main menu. Now we're going to alt tab, we're going to go to our search thing down here, and we're going to type in percent app data percent, percent app data percent, just get to your app data folder, I'm sure you know how to do this. Then go to the go back a folder from roaming and go to local low and find Soul Games Signal Simulator, save.dat. <coughs> now, keep that window open and go into your web browser. And you're going to want to go to the, this website. It's called www.saveeditonline.com. It's a save editor. Since this game is made in Unity, it uses a save.dat file. So we're just going to drag this in here. And it's been uploaded. And now we can see we have all these all this data in here. Um, that can be edited. We can do stuff like edit current credit points. I'm just gonna set this couple nines there so I'll have plenty of uh, money. We can put coffee in our coffee cup if we want to. Um, that's one of the things we do. Anyway, we're gonna scroll down until we find uh, player coordinates. So it should be right around here. Uh, player pose X. Actually, I misspoke. It's player pose, not player coordinates. So we're gonna find this number, and this whichever number is really high, that's the number you want to edit. Since we drove straight away from the building, it's going to be a negative 1,548. And I'm just gonna say add plus 10 to this value, so we're gonna do uh, 58. 1558. So we've just increased our Z coordinate by 10 points. And we're also going to do the same thing for the car pose, because the car pose is um, currently going to be the same as the player pose since I was in the car when I logged off. So we just added 10 points to the Z coordinate, and this coordinate will be different depending on which direction you drive. You decide to drive away in. So, now that we've edited our coordinates, if there's anything else we want to do, um, we should do it now. I'm gonna go ahead and give the rover speed an upgrade level of 80. Um, <laughs> what we're doing here is actually upgrading our systems in the game. Let's do H rotor LV, let's set this to 80. And let's set this to 80 as well. That will change our antenna rotation speed. Um, anything else we want to do, like current electronics, we'll just hit 5. Um, current chargers, 10. Any data you want to edit, do it in here. We can even um, enable the pillars, which is a cool thing you can do. Alright, so once we've done that, let's hit download save.dat, and we're going to download it. And then we're going to delete our old save.dat, and come in here and drag the new save.dat into that folder. And then we're just going to hit continue in the game. And once it loads up, we're outside of the map. You can see the antennas over there. 
you can see the actual signs that say warning, no trespassing, which you can't normally see in the game because they are on the outside and there's no way to get on the outside. So yeah, now we're on the outside of the map and we can and we also teleported our golf cart out here as well. You can do just yourself, but um, then it, you won't really be able to get around that well. Those trees over there, if you can see them, um, those are just floating tree assets, just floating in the air. I don't know why the the developer Blago decided to make them float. I guess to make it look like they're far away. Because if you put them on the ground, you may not just be able to see them from inside of the map. There, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but yeah, we can drive along the outside of the fence, and there is an event actually that causes a crashed UFO to show up around here somewhere, which I might explore in a minute. Um, that might trigger that event and come out here and see what it's like up close. Although it probably won't be that amazing. Here we have a pretty big hill. Now I'm going to slow down as I approach this hill because if you're not careful, you'll drive off the side of the map. Are we approaching the edge yet? There we go. There's the edge. Yeah, man, you got to be careful. You'll fall off if you walk off if you walk past this line here. Um, but yeah, you can see the rocks and what's underneath. There looks to be like some kind of texture down there. I don't know what it's supposed to be of, but yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. One funny thing is that there is a road here and a gate, but you can't open the gate. There's no way to open the gate. But yeah, we're here. <laughs> um, outside the gate. So that's pretty cool. That's the edge, that's the edge. Ooh, almost drove off. There you can see it. Uh, it's not much more than you can see normally with the telescope, but um, <laughs> there it is. There's the Blago UFO in the sky. All right, let's just, that's I guess the most interesting thing to explore out here. Other than that, it's all just flat and the occasional tree. Let's gain some speed and then just drive off the edge and see what happens. I'm curious what's down there. Although I do know that if you drive off the edge, you actually get reset back into the building, but that's okay since we've kind of explored all there is to see out here. So let's just go for it. Yee! Oh, that was very quick. That was very, very quick. All right, I'm going to head back into here. And we're gonna look at the other things that I activated when I did um when I missed with the config file or the save file rather. Let's head in here. Let's look at our computer. Go to upgrades, and as you can see, I have nine 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 credits, which means I can upgrade everything. Coordinates, yes please. Upgrade it all the way to max. Rover speed. Oh, that's already very quick. Um, we'll just do download speed. Boom, 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 boom. Max. Apply. Polarization. Sure, why not? I always thought the polarization was too slow. And uh, now, let's do something. Let's rotate these antennas. Uh, azimuth is 79. Let's just turn this on and set it to, like, 109. Go! Look at that baby rotate. Look at that. It was almost instant. I guess the only thing left to do now is, like, activate the alien ship and go explore it. Cause that'd probably be pretty cool, right? Man, these things are fast now. No more waiting 30 minutes to find your signal, man. It is instantaneous. Oh, that reminds me. We can come out here and grab the shoe and see the UFO that spawns above us. So let's do that. That sounds like fun, right? And there's the shoe. There's the UFO. gonna go in that direction there it goes bye bye wow that thing is quick all right let's activate the crashed ufo and go explore it okay so unfortunately after looking in the config file you cannot activate the ufo uh, event from there there's only certain events that you can um and even then it's not an actual activation, it's just telling the game that it has happened. 
So like if I activated the SpaceX mission, the um, the SpaceX booster rocket would come down and land. Uh, it wouldn't come down and land, it would just be there, I'm pretty sure. So um, yeah. But anyway, that's how you get outside the um, map in Signal Simulator. Um, there you go, you're welcome. Have fun, enjoy. And there's other stuff you can tweak in there too, like you can edit the Y position of your player. Okay, wait a minute, now I have to try editing my Y position. <laughs> Alright, I put myself uh, at Y level 400 so I'd have a minute to observe as I fell down because physics are pretty strong in this game and gravity is really strong. Whoa, look how I am! You can see everything! Oh wow, I wish it wasn't nighttime. I'm gonna have to do this again while it's daytime. Look at that! That is so cool. I'm in the sky! Let's land on top of the, um, let's land on the radar here. Which is non-functional in this game. There's a giant radar dome on top of your building, but you can't use it. Looks like you do collide on it properly, though. That's cool. Well, there we go. We're on top. Let's do this again at daytime. Alright, I made it daytime, and I put myself a lot higher up, so we have longer to look at stuff. This should be good. There we go. Look at that. We're all the way up in the sky. There's the road that goes from there to there. There's the entire map. Get a good look, guys. You can see all around. Here we are, way up above everything. There's the solar panel arrays, the antennas, the crop circle thing. Not 100% sure what that is. Oh, that's probably a meteor. Um, there's the radio tower. Let's see if we can land on the radio tower. <gasps> Ooh, can we land on that? Do we have time? To make it all the way to an antenna? I don't think we do. Let's just head for the radio tower. I think we can probably make it to a radio tower. Um, oh, can we? Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, we can. This is super cool. And... Oh no! You don't collide! No, we're just falling down like normal now. Oh, this is so sad. None of it collides. Wait, is this not... It doesn't collide normally? I could have sworn this thing collided normally. I guess not, though. <laughs> there you have it. That's the game from the sky. That is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Maybe next video I'll figure out how to unpack the scheme in Unity. I did extract it once with the uh, U-Tiny Ripper, but the world was not like set up as a scene. It was like, it wasn't just your standard Unity scene. It was, it was weird. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Goodbye.